super intelligent AI is reporting to stupid leaders, and that's why in the next 15 years, we are going to hit a short term dystopia. There's no escaping that. That's Mo Gaudat, former chief business officer at Google X and author of Scary Smart. In this conversation on the diary of a CEO, he makes a chilling prediction. We're about to enter what he calls a short term dystopia, and it starts in 2027. Here's his core argument in simple terms. AI isn't the problem, it's who controls it. Right now, the most powerful AI systems are being built by a handful of tech billionaires who are racing to artificial general intelligence. And Mo believes this race will create a world where super intelligent machines serve the ego and greed of very flawed humans. Yeah, I count that. I count it exactly as 12 to 15 years. I, I believe the beginning of the slope will happen in 2027. I mean, it w we will see signs in 26. We've seen signs in 24, but we will see escalating signs next year and then a, a, a clear uh, slip in 27. So what does this dystopia look like? Mo calls it face rips, the redefinition of freedom, accountability, connection, economics, reality, innovation, and power. Here's what's already starting. Your freedom? Yeah. But very soon uh, you will uh, if you publish this episode, you're going to start to get questions around, should you be talking about this to those topics in your podcast? Okay, uh, you know, uh, if I uh, have been on this episode, hmm, then probably next time I land in the US, someone will question me, say, why do you say those things? Which side are you on? And then there's work. Mo's startup that would have needed 350 developers in the past. Today it's him, one engineer, and a lot of AIs. CEOs are celebrating that they can now get rid of people and have productivity gains and co cost reductions because AI can do that job. The one thing they don't think of is AI will replace them too. AGI is going to be better at, than, uh, at everything than humans, at everything, including being a CEO. His prediction, massive unemployment, universal basic income for most people, and extreme concentration of wealth among those who own the AI platforms. But here's the twist. Mo believes there is a path to utopia, just not the way most people think. You know, I have enough uh, evidence to, to argue that when we fully hand over to AI, that's going to be our salvation. That the problem with us today is not, you know, that the intelligence is going to work against us. It's that our stupidity as humans is working against us. His argument, AI leaders would be more rational than human leaders. They wouldn't waste resources on wars, wouldn't destroy ecosystems, wouldn't make us hate each other because hatred and destruction are inefficient. But perhaps the most striking moment in this conversation was when Mo looked directly at his friend, the host, and said this. I, uh, I, I love you so much, man. You're such a good friend. You're 32, 33. 32, yeah. Yeah, you still are fooled by the many, many years you have to live. I'm fooled by the many years I have to live. Yeah, you don't have many years to live, not in this capacity. This world, as it is, is going to be redefined. So live the F out of it. Mo's advice is surprisingly simple. Learn AI, connect with humans, question everything you're told, and live fully right now. Because whether we get his dystopia or utopia depends on choices being made by a few people in Silicon Valley and Beijing. People who may not be thinking about you at all. So what should I do? Love your girlfriend, spend more time living. Find compassion and connection to more people, be more in nature. The future Mo describes isn't science fiction, it's a timeline. The question isn't whether this change is coming, it's whether you're ready. What do you think? Are we heading for dystopia, utopia, or something else entirely? Let me know in the comments.